Okay, local matters, welcome back. Today we are going to take a look at another PowerPlay unique module, and today we are going to take a look at the Enforcer Cannon. The Enforcer Cannon is the unique module that you can gain access to if you have pledged with Pranavantal and if you have reached rank 3 and have stayed with him for at least 4 weeks. The first thing we are going to notice about the Enforcer Cannon is the fact that it is not actually a cannon but a multi cannon, and as the description is saying, it is a modified multi cannon tuned to fire larger caliber rounds that deal more damage over a greater range at the cost of fire rate. It is only available as a class 1 fixed weapon like the Cytos Scrambler and each cost is at around 13.9k credits. The main difference is from a normal multi-cannon, a normal class 1 fixed multi-cannon is that it has almost double damage but half rate of fire and it carries less ammunition than a normal multi-cannon. They both require the same power, it will cost you the same power to have equipped an enforcer cannon or a normal multi-cannon but because of the increased damage, the Enforcer Cannon can deal more damage per second. The best ship I could think to test the Enforcer Cannon was the Eagle, which is a small ship that has three small hard points where we can equip the Enforcer Cannon and test them against the shields and the hull of our targets. We already know that multi cannons in general are very effective against both shields and hull, and uh, with the Enforcer Cannon, with the increased range, increased damage and overall better damage per second it has, it will be a much better option. Let's go after this Cobra and see from how far we can start shooting. We are at around 5 kilometers away. At 4.5 kilometers we can start shooting this Cobra. Now let's get closer and try to destroy it and see how fast we can do it with our Enforcer Cannons. I like the way it fires and Under attack. the sound it does. The damage seems to be good. Target Already seals are down. And we are doing some really nice damage on the hull of this Cobra. Oh, I like this weapon. For a small weapon, it's quite good actually. And the first cobra is dead. Let's Target do some seal cells and get out of here. Let's return and kill this cobra again. Oh, I really like this weapon so far. The way it fires, and of course, the sound does when it's firing. Too bad it's only available as a small weapon. Okay, it's pretty devastating against small ships like Cobras. I'm really curious how good it is against bigger enemies. This cover is almost dead as well. And the fact that it has a nice range, it will be very easy to hit bigger targets from afar. Not that we are having any problem with this small ship over here. And it's dead. Isn't it? Yes it is. Destroyed. Let's try and find something bigger now. Okay, let's go ahead and test our weapons on this Federal Dropship and see how fast we can kill it. This is gonna take a while because of the good armor the Dropship has, but let's go. Scan Shields are down, but that's not really an achievement against the Federal Dropship. Let's get out of his way. There we 
go again. Not bad damage on the hull. He's coming back again. Thank God he is not the most clever AI enemy. And he's refusing to fire. It's like he wants to help us with our testing. It does take a while to take down the hull, but we are doing some really nice damage. And it's dead. Destroyed. That was good against the Federal Dropship. It could have been faster, but uh, it was a nice Target damage on the hull flying. and the shields. Let's get this cleaver as well. This is going to be a bit harder. But his shields are really down and he's at 81 hull. Let's get closer. Kill it. At least this one is flying back. Under attack. Yes. He is. And another one is dead. Destroyed. That was actually a lot of fun and it is quite effective against the seals and the hull of our targets. The biggest drawback of the enforcer for me is the lack of ammunition though. I wish it had more ammunition, it would have been a much better weapon. It does have its limitations since it's only a class 1 weapon, but in general it is a pretty good weapon system. Some other vessels that could utilize the capabilities of the enforcer cannon are of course the Viper and the Dambach Scout and this is because of the layout of the hard points. They both have two small hard points and two medium hard points and you can do some nice combinations, put whatever you want. You can of course equip them with enforcer cannons and combine them with either multi cannons and that way you can combine the best features of these two versions of multi cannons. Or just go with two enforcer cannons and combine them with some lasers of your choice and that way you have a weapon system that is very effective against the shields of your target and uh, later you can use it in combination with the enforcer cannon to take down the hull. Unfortunately the enforcer cannon is not a good choice for the Cobra and this is because of the lack of a gimbal version of this weapon. As we know the Cobra has two horrible, horrible hard points, the two small hard points are placed in a horrible spot and you can only use gimbal weapons effectively down there. The best vessel to fully utilize the capabilities of the enforcer cannon is of course the Asp Explorer and this is because of the four small hard points it has and the placement of the hard points it is perfect for fixed weapons, it is perfect to equip fixed weapons on these small hard points 
you can equip four enforcer cannons, combine them with two medium multi cannons, and uh, use six multi cannons in that way. Or you can use again two lasers of your choice. As you can see, I have equipped two fixed beam lasers to take down shields with them first, and then kill my enemy with the enforcer cannons. Or you can go with six enforcer cannons if you want to just fool around and have some fun. So let's take the Aspect Explorer out like this with the two beam lasers and the four enforcer cannons and see how good it is at destroying big ships. Let's go ahead and try to kill this python with his wingman. Let's start the attack with the beam lasers. Under attack. Not bad on the shield. We should combine it with the enforcer cannon as well. Let's go after it. That way we can take down the shields even faster. Okay, shields are down. Now let's see how fast we can kill this python. His wingmen are firing on me. We are doing some really nice damage with a 4 enforcer cannon on the hull of that python. Some serious damage. I'm not going to use the beam lasers on the hull. I just want to see how good the enforcer cannons are. Which are quite good actually. Up. He's already down 37%, so let's finish it. And he's dead. That was actually quite good. And here is our next target. Let's use everything we have from the beginning and see how fast we can kill it. <laughs> She's already down. The beam lasers are very strong. And the four Fonser cannons are quite effective actually it's a very good weapon against Hal like I said before the only real drawback is the lack of ammunition if it had a bit more ammo it would have been a really nice weapon Target shields offline. And Target. this was the enforcer cannon, a power play unique weapon that you have to pledge with Paranavandal in order to acquire it. It is a class 1 fixed weapon only and it is a multi cannon. But despite the fact that it is only a class 1 weapon, it is very effective against the shields and the hull of your enemies, and it is a lot of fun to play with it. I definitely recommend it if you enjoy playing with small ships that have small hard points and you want to have some fun with multi cannons. Thank you very much for joining me watching this video. I'm Squid of Love, fly safe commanders, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.